City, Grace. Yeah, Brian and Jamie, we are actually on 356th Street where you could see the damage on the roads because of a slow moving landslide. You could kind of see the road just spreading there. And in fact, uh, if you zoom in on those circles on the ground, those white circles, that's what they're using to kind of measure the spread. And really great news, it hasn't spread out day or so. So this road was actually closed off from cars and also people trying to get into their homes, but they have now opened it up so you can get through. You can access this road, but still you can see the damage there because of the movement of the land. I'm here with Corgi Green. You are a resident here in Fall City and you got that call this afternoon about 2:30. Tell me about that. I did. It was a little nerve wracking to hear it said it was it didn't say it was a voluntary um, evacuation at the time. So um, I got in the car and parked, fortunately, on the other side of the crack mm -hmm. and uh, walked down here to see what was going on. And then everything kind of went crazy. But I was coming down to meet my daughter, who is picking the kids, grandkids up from school because um, obviously the school bus can't come up here anymore. Yes, yeah, so you were home uh, all day today, but your family, they were out and about and they came home to this. Yes, everybody's out. Yeah, and you were also talking about you did see this uh, spread out on the roads. Talk about that because you said you saw it move quite a bit. Well, Friday is when I, we actually noticed, Thursday or Friday, I can't remember, but mm -hmm. just from the morning till the afternoon, there was quite a difference in the crack. And then today, I guess yesterday, it's, it's moved quite a bit. So, yeah, it's kind of shocking how much. Yeah, is this area prone to landslides? I know we've got prolonged rain, heavy rainfall, and uh, for as long as you've lived here, have you dealt with anything like this? Um, no, but about three years ago in this same area, we had this not really the same problem. It didn't do as bad, I don't believe. I could be wrong. But they had to close this side of the road off then mm -hmm. and did a great job repairing it. But I think with the rains we've had, it just didn't have a chance. But the hillside behind us is... Um, is what's sliding, I guess. Yeah, well, well, we're really glad you're safe and your home is safe because you actually don't need to evacuate now. True. I don't. I'm okay. going home. <laughs> That's great news. Okay, thank you, Corky, thank for you. the interview. And again, for folks, again, this is a voluntary evacuation. So if you do decide to stay home, kind of shelter in place, King County wants to warn that you may be isolated for a period of time because uh, you may not be able to get in and out. Access can be cut at any time as well. But for now, we'll stay on top of this, talk to some residents out here, keep an eye on uh, the spreading of this road. But again, this road is open for folks.